Good afternoon everyone, welcome to your computer class. So for today, we will be having chapter 4 and that is Visual Basic uh, 2008. Okay, so what is actually Visual Basic 2008? Okay, so Visual Basic is a popular programming language developed by Microsoft in May 1991 and it was released actually by 2008. So it is based on the basic language and it uses graphical user interface and it also helps to create event driven applications here is the features of visual basic uh, it introduces the concept of event driven programming model it has uh, database handling features and in incorporates concepts of objects error handling features front end application developer and RAD, Rapid Application Development. Modes of uh, Visual Basic uh, program, uh, Design Mode, Run Mode, and Break Mode. Okay, so Visual Basic is an event-driven programming. What do you mean by events? These are actions such as pressing a key, clicking a mouse, selecting checkbox, and selecting list item etc so an event driven program the statements get executed when a corresponding event takes place now what do you mean by integrated development environment let's read together visual basic integrated development environment or ide bundles all the tools the menu bar toolbar toolbox solution explorer properties window code window in a single interface where we can design edit compile and execute the application on a single platform okay see the components of visual basic here is menu bar title bar standard toolbar toolbox form window solution explorer code window and properties window okay so the following are actually the specific functions of each component please read it and familiarize it by yourself now how to develop a visual basic application first is create a form number two place controls number three set properties of the controls number four write code for events on controls example on button and the number five run the application at the same time how to add form to the visual basic application you just simply have to click project add windows um, form and then click on the add new item Okay, additional information about the components of a Visual Basic. Here is additional here, designer window there, error task list window. Okay. Solution Explorer. So it is an area of the integrated development environment or IDE that contains your solution and helps you manage your project files. The files are displayed in a hierarchical view, much like that of Windows Explorer. Okay, the following are actually the controls of Visual Basic, but the commonly used controls are label and text box. Now, command button. So, command button is used to give command to the application. When a user clicks on the command button, the programming statements associated with that button get executed. So, common properties of command buttons are name, text, and font. Now, how to write codes for an event? Number one, double click on control to open the code window and in that window, write the statements in between the pre-written lines of codes. Okay, saving Visual Basic projects. So to save Visual Basic projects, we update the project file of the current project and all of its forms, standard class modules. For saving a project, you can also press Control plus S. Okay, how to open an existing project in Visual Basic? Simply, just simply open the existing project, but you also have to close the current project. Windows will prompt you to save any changes. So Visual Basic then opens an existing project, including the forms, modules, and ActiveX controls listed in its project or that .vbp file. Then you can also press Ctrl plus O to open a project. That is all for this week. See you soon.